Right. Okay. Let's today we're going to talk about the the road forwards and what I believe is when people say I've got a plan, this is what I want to achieve. Well, there is no A, B, C, D. You're never going to get there. Path. Your path is never going to be straightforward. So don't go thinking, you know what, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, bang, I've reached it. Because you won't. It, it's, it, it's just a fact. You, you'll look at things and you'll be like, oh, does it feel like giving up? No. Because if you, you know what, if you give up, you're, yeah, pretty bluntly, you're an idiot. Because if you want to achieve something, then you you will go you will go for it no matter what you have to do you will do it because I mean growing up I know I'm only 24 but gr growing up I wanted to be a chef I went to college for four years to study it to get my diplomas to and I did become a chef work worked as a chef as as a job and then when when I kind of hit the brick wall, or actually let's say hit the floor because I felt super cheap on, I looked at thought, things and thought, well, epilepsy is in my way. I can't be a chef. And that was kind of my brick wall. And that was the wrong way to look at things because I was thinking, oh no, well, I've hit that brick wall. I can't become a chef because of that one thing and you know what i was wrong i am still a chef and and bloody happy about it and but that that isn't my happily ever after because what i want to do now is speak in front of people and explain that no matter what you go through, I mean, my seizures, I've cut there, cut my eyebrow, give myself a black eye, dislocated my shoulder, and many, many, many more different things. And I've injured myself quite a lot, uh, basically. And that used to knock me back. I was thinking, God, why, why, why me? Why me? And I look at things now, and I think, you selfish ass. Because there are many, many people who go through a hell of a lot more than me. And don't, I don't, didn't even realise how easy I've got it. So it makes me look a real ass. And going forwards my what I want to achieve is to talk to in front of people and explain that yes the way I my perspective on things now I used to think oh woe is me and feel sorry for myself I thought I had it bad bloody hell I have it so easy and I've come to terms with that now and you need to make the most of it. Because just looking at things of how easy I have it, I want to explain to people that doesn't matter what you go through, you can still achieve something. And that's why I'm just hoping, and I'm not going to stop with it, it's a talk in front of 10, 20, 30, hopefully a hell of a lot more people and explain that things, things might feel difficult when they're really not. It's all about perspective and how you look at things and go step by step. Because what I thought was really difficult for me was actually so so easy and there's many many people out there who 
would sit and think, I wish I had it as easy as you. Because there are some people who have a hundred to two hundred seizures a day. And there's me bitching about having one outside and fracturing my cheekbone. It's you you make it I make it look like I have so make it look like my life's so difficult when in fact I've got it so so easy. But there are people who feel lost, kind of where do I go? I f- and feel there's people who I know who feel how can I describe it? They f- feel they feel trapped and like in their own little bubble that they they have no friends, they have nobody to talk to. And I I used to have that feeling because one of my mates he he asked me to go go out on a night out, have a drink with him. I said with my medication I can't drink. They told me I can't, hospital told me I can't drink. Next minute, it wants nothing to do with me. So that's why I believe that that engaging and talking to people is very, very good. It's a good idea because I. Interacting with people helps you in confidence as well. Me talking to some people, even if it's just on social media, just for a chat, it's given me more confidence to speak to people because I'm not alone. And a lot of people do feel alone. So it's taking that step of feeling from here, which is, no one wants to be around me, blah, 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 blah. To having a conversation, yeah, starting getting, talking to people, and then progressing, progressing, progressing. And people need to realise that, that you're not alone. You're not sat in the dark. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Just believe in yourself. Believe that you can do it. And you can I, after I took that fall, I thought that my chef career was going to be over. It's not. It's just waiting and being positive and believing in myself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, who's going to believe in you? Because my dad has said the same thing to me. That's where I got it from. He's like, do the same things, get the same results. And what he means by that is sitting, feeling like you're in the dumps, you're at, you're at ground zero. Your brain is thinking that all the time. You're trying to think more positively. And if you keep going back to step one, don't even bother. Don't bother trying to be positive when you're not going to go anywhere. You are lit you are literally walking with weights on your feet. So my advice, have more confidence in yourself and try and interact with people. Take that step and just progress because there is no, there is no golden ticket. There is no final destination. I could be from here to managing to talk to people and then before I know it they could be like oh people Aaron we'd love for you to come to this event this event this event which would be a dream for me it's just turning dreams into reality which is what I'm working on and I'm not going to give up on because I'm passionate about it I've now got a goal and I, I think that now I've got a goal. Stay on that road. Don't let 
anyone knock me off that road and just just go for it because I, I don't know how to put it if you if you decide you're gonna go somewhere and do something and you give up then people are gonna give up on you so don't even bother if you've got a goal and you believe that you can do it you know you can do it then good luck to you and keep going keep doing it don't back down just confidence and you will succeed so i'll leave it at that comment below what you'd like me to talk about next and stay safe and i'll speak to you next time and goodbye